Okay, in this video, we continue our discussion of ARC section 90A. Um, it's for discussing the review of financial statements. And up until this point, we've uh, performed the analytical procedures and inquiries uh, related to the review. And so now we have a copy of the financial statements. And there's a couple things we need to do with the financial statements. Um, the first is that we should read the financial statements. Um, we should read the financial statements that other accountants put out related to the entity. And we should also reconcile the financial statements to the underlying accounting records. And so we see this in ARC section 90A.24 through 26. So it says the accountant should read the financial statements and consider whether any information has come to the accountant's attention to indicate that such financial statements do not conform to the applicable financial reporting framework. And if other accountants have issued a report on the financial statements of significant components, such as subsidiaries and investees, then the accountant should obtain and read reports from other, such other accounts. And also, we should obtain evidence that the financial statements agree or reconcile with the accounting records. So we might first tie out the, um, the financial statements to the trial balance and the grouping schedule to make sure everything from the trial balance goes into and reconciles with the financial statements. And we might also get other financial statements from other accountants where they, uh, the financial statements of subsidiaries and investees to uh, see how they roll up and consolidate and reconcile into the overall financial statements. And we should also read through them and make sure that all of the financial statements put, all the, the grammar and the um, clarity of the footnotes and disclosures are good. And we might also use a disclosure checklist to make sure that they've included all the disclosures that they're supposed to in these financial statements. 